uh, my business partners in a Friday morning Bible study. That was just like way too early in the morning. We wanted some social time outside of that, and a couple of guys had just been gifted beer brewing kits. We started brewing beers on Monday night. The name really found, found us. We were brewing beer on Monday nights, and I believe that the name should help tell the story of the brand. The Monday night brewing was kind of really natural for us. One of the reasons we started a brewery was because we wanted to enjoy what we were doing with work. And we wanted to celebrate every day of the week, right? Like we wanted to celebrate weekdays, not just living for the weekend. Weekends are overrated is really a nod. Not that weekends are bad, but that weekdays are good. And that, you know, you should work to make every day something that you're proud of. Yeah, I remember it was early March 2020 when uh, Sunday night and news reports started rolling in of cities shutting down their bars and restaurants and I just had this like sense of panic because that is such a large part of our identity uh, and our business. We cut back pretty hard initially. Uh, we furloughed half of our staff. Fortunately our to-go business was fairly strong through April and May. We had so many people who wanted to support Monday night, and so they would not only buy uh, their beer here, but they would ask if they could, you know, tip. So we decided to, to give all tips to furloughed staff. We were able to actually give them income because of the kindness of our customers. The tips became so generous that we were able to start bringing furloughed staff back. Uh, and by the end of June, we had everyone back. We had people driving to our brewery from Birmingham on the weekend to buy beer from us. Because they're like, I know you guys need this 25 bucks more than I do right now. Like, that's insane. Craft breweries can become like flags for people. They're tied to certain geographies. Um, they've got a certain ethos about them. In, in some ways, people kind of latch onto certain craft breweries to help define their personality. Like in the same way that I'm like an Apple guy, right? Like, are you Monday night guy? I don't think Atlanta gets the credit it deserves. The people that live in the city and around the city have such a passion for the city. There's a togetherness that feels kind of unique to Atlanta. And I think the pandemic helped showcase that even more in some ways. It's, it's a truly special place.